Hello and welcome to episode 22. How are we? Oh, I'm good. Yes. <laughs> um, I stated last week I'm in person with Greg this week, Kelston and Dumfries. I've got a few guests that might appear in the background. He's not even waving. <laughs> <laughs> so if there's any background noise, I'm going to blame them. But yeah, so how are you, Kel? Um, all right, uh, yourselves. Yeah, good, thanks. Good. Good. Not going to have over today, so it's fine. Not yet. Um, so, Greg, top. Yes, disappointing result in the South Wales Derby for Cardiff. The referee's clock, uh, clock was broken, watch was broken. Lost it in the 99th minute after five added on. Terrible, and they're going to have to replay the whole game at Rotherham after Rotherham got it postponed. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Due to the rain, they're going to have to replay the whole game, despite the fact that Rotherham groundsmen were clearly dragging the water back onto the pitch. And they were winning 1-0. And Cardiff are winning one now. So if you want if you want easy money at some point, rather than to win the rearrange fixture. <laughs> Probably. Um, I'm rocking a, a new jersey today, the current Rangers home kit. Uh, I'm going to be sponsoring over them. It's quite comfy. I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, if I'm not looking at the camera, I apologise because I'm not used to the positioning. Um, Kyle? This is one we've seen before. <laughs> yes, it's a right Old. I don't know when it is. Old. Is Old like number. Oh, seven. Five or six. Uh, right. Have you got a beer of a quite early on this morning? So no, I've got a Coca Cola. Well, we also uh, we've got kinds of tents, but it's a bit early. But it's a bit early. So I have a soft drink option and an appropriate vessel. Okay. I'm being sensible today. Yes. Um. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, I'm here, so that's a that's a change. Robert is here. Uh, let's hope this one works first time because. I suppose in our usual format, so will be fine. Right, um, big game on Saturday. It is the Old Farm at Parkhead. Um, key features being no away fans. What do we think about that, Greg? It's a bit of a joke, to be honest, isn't it? I don't care who started it. They're both as bad as each other. Give each other some away fans, preferably like 10%, because let's be honest, we say the Old Farm's a fantastic derby, but we don't. Thank you. We say the old firms are fantastic <laughs> derby, but we don't acknowledge how much the away fans play a part in that. I definitely, but there's there's nothing better than when you see the like Rangers or well, mainly Rangers for me. But yeah, I mean celebrating in front of the away fans in that way ten section. I think they should be both be given the Champions League allocations because they are a decent size. And it's all it's still less than what they were using all four of their allocations, but if you look at like when, when Liverpool were Ibrox or Dortmund were Ibrox, it's a good it's a good chunk. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it should be the Champions League allocations. When Liverpool were Ibrox, they also scored how many goals? Yes. Seven. Just, just wanted to remind them. Just wanted to get that in there. I remember vividly. Did you watch all of them go in? Yeah. Every single one. I mean I went for a PA eight minutes, came back, stood stood at the end at the you know, like at the Edge to put like the kind of yeah, and then just walked out since the whistle blew. So I stayed, stayed till then. <laughs> um, yes, <laughs> I think do you think Rangers can get a result, Ken? No, I agree. No, I disagree. I think we will. That's good. It's in the predictions. We'll come, come on to that later. And, um, I think it's a big game. If Rangers lose, well, the league's nearly gone already. So the league's gone already. The league was gone come January. Yeah, I know, but um, I think. There's no chance of any sal- salvage if we don't win tomorrow. Uh, Celtic got nothing to lose, really. Well, they do, but you know, what I mean, in terms of they could, they can afford to lose us and then just not lose any other games. And then There'll be one more old form anyway. Yeah, I'm led to believe it's going to be on Coronation Day. Is it? Well, it's going to be messy. And Celtic can win the title at Ibrox that day, apparently. It's going to get fucking tasty, baby. <laughs> No, nah, they'll drop a wee one, uh, like a wee draw, one one with someone in between them. Let, let's, shit be, it. let's be honest, Rangers are more likely to do that than Celtic. Yeah, ah, I know, but I mean, like, I whatever. Um, yeah. So, uh, what type of formations do you think we're going to go for? I think Michael Beale just has to go all out. I don't think any of this like overly defensive. I think he just needs to fire all cylinders. I'm not sure about that. Or oh, four three three as usual. Probably. Like I, I think if Rangers go out all guns blazing and self like Celtic respond by going out all guns blazing, there's only one winner. 
Which is Celtic. Football, obviously. sorry. Obviously. <laughs> Football's over. Um, like, I, I think the difference in attack is, like, huge. You know, there's a reason that I think James Tavernier is Rangers' his top goal scorer this season, and that says a lot. Yeah, but at the same time, we could all, we're also capable of picking up a result. So, are you? Yeah, so far. That's true. I've got nothing, nothing to add. I don't know a lot about it. It'd be a good game, regardless. I'll be watching it here in this room and shouting here at the balcony if we score. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so at least, at least you're no one will care. I'm working, so I'll have to watch it in Sky Sports Score Centre. I put a bottle of butt fast tonic wine chilling ready in the fridge. That'll get me nice and, nice and hyper and energetic for the football. Right, yes, really. because um, and I have a bottle of Domestus ready in the cupboard for when Rangers lose. For him. That's sick. sick. That's terrible, huh? <laughs> right. The question is... Not even easy. Will there be a Rangers goalkeeping error like in previous old from this season? I, I hope not. You hope not. I, I'm going to make up some um, some sh- shouts for the telly if, ready, if there is any. Uh, Butterfingers or... Um, Jilly Hans, <laughs> I don't know. I just made that one up there. <laughs> I've never heard that one said before. Um, right, let's move on because we've covered all the bases there. Right, Greg's got another game. I'm going to turn around yeah. so I can't see his phone. Same game as last week, uh, except this time the signboard might actually work. So if you get it right, I can give you a nice. And if you get it wrong, I can give you a. Before we start, can you actually hear that, girl? Yeah. That's good. good. And that, that also means that uh, if you're taking a bit too long. Take your phone a bit than what's here. You'll get your uh, nice six seconds to get an answer with this jingle. Clock is ticking. I'm going to have to dash you. Ooh, time. Ooh, time. Right, so I can't remember who won last week. It's probably Kyle. Cause Robert, won. Cause, I, I, won the first game. I won the first leg. Because Robert's not very good at this game. Um, yeah, you're right. If he wins, <laughs> wins this week, at least Kyle can blame on the fact you can see my answers. Uh, so we'll have Robert to go first again since he lost last week. And the first one this, this I can't week, actually see it. Just there are the 34 answers, and it is any player who has scored five or more goals in the Scottish Premiership this season. For this any season. Club, this season so far. Right. There are 34 players who have scored five or more goals. Right. Turn your phone away. Right. Robert, you're first. Um... Alfredo Morelos. Alfredo Morelos. God. Antonio Cholak. Antonio Cholak. Right. Kyogo Furahashi. Kyogo. Jota. Jota. Kevin Van Veen. Kevin Van Veen. Lawrence Shankland. God. <laughs> I'm all already. Uh, the Duke, the, the guy that plays for Aberdeen. Duck, yes. Oh, Duck, I thought it was the, the Duke. I think it is Duke, but I'm calling him Duck. The Duck. Uh, James Tavernier. James Tavernier, Rangers top scorer with six. Um, Malik Tillman. Yes, he has. I said yes, he has, and he hovers over the wrong button. <laughs> Does that be freak? Um... No, Jack Marcus. Jack Marcus. Aaron Moy. <laughs> oh, what? Aaron Moy has not. And he goes, nah, I'm not going to have one. <laughs> there is a ton of others, so Leila Bada, Bruce Anderson, Daniel Armstrong. Oh, Bada was over the next, but I thought Moy had scored quite a few. I can't, I can't remember if anyone said Martin Boyle. Uh, other selections include Stephen Fletcher, Josh Janelli, Sia Taksabanovich. Dylan Levitt from the United, John Lindstrom, Curtis Main, Stevie May. He scored four. Kevin Nisbet, Mark O'Hara, Tony Watt, got to five at the weekend, Ellie Yuan, and a selection of others. So that is a point <coughs> to Kyle. Cough there. Who will go <coughs> first in this next round. There are even more answers for this one. There are 44. And it is countries that Scotland have faced in the last 10 years. Any oh, country... We've had any country Scotland's played in the Euros of the World Cup, oh, right. and we've had scorers in the last 10 years. But any team Scotland have 10, played... so what, about 10, 13 years? So since this time in 2013. Right. Um, it includes friendlies. It's any game Scotland have played. So, Kyle, you're first. 
England. Oh, that's what I was going for. Um, the Faroe Islands. Thank God. Spain. Croatia. Cyprus. Czech Republic. Ireland through A's. No, you said that, didn't you? Wheels. Sure, there's a wheels in there. Oh, it's an equaliser. There we go, that's 1 1. There's a selection of others, there's tons of others. I, mean, I, I thought we were, I thought, nah. So, the full list, including the ones you said Albania, Armenia, Austria, Belgium, Canada, Costa Rica, Croatia, Cyprus. Czech Republic, Denmark, England, Faroe Islands, France, Georgia, Germany, Gibraltar, Hungary, Ireland, Italy, Israel, Israel, of course. Oh, yeah. All right, but 7,000 times. Kazakhstan, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, Mexico, Moldova, Netherlands, Nigeria, Northern Ireland, North Macedonia, Norway, Peru, Poland, Portugal, Qatar, Russia, San Marino, Serbia, Serbia, Serbia <laughs> Spain, Slovakia, <laughs> Slovenia, <laughs> Turkey, Ukraine, and the US. Um, what was I going to say? I forgot. So it is a decider. There are 24 answers oh, to this one. Keenan's still shooting Ross County at the screen. <laughs> yes, Scotland <laughs> has sadly not played Ross County. That's a joke. 26th um, of March 2013 last played. What was that? That's, that's, pretty much. that's not in the last 10 years. Um, the last one for the, for the win this week is SPFL clubs whose ground has a smaller capacity than Palmerston. Right. So of the 41 other SPL clubs, other than Queen's, 24 right. of them have a ground that's smaller than capacity than Palmerston. Palmerston's official capacity is 8,690, allegedly. Right. Um, so there are 24, and it is Robert to go first. FC Edinburgh. Yes, it is. It's just the team, so it's just like a stadium names. Yeah, just the team. Oh, I don't Aaron, double the size of FC Edinburgh. It's just, a, it's just a SPFL, isn't it? Just SPFL, yeah. Four for. Four for. Albion. Albion Rovers. Sterling Albion. Sterling Albion. Elgin. Elgin City. Bonnie Rig Rose. Yep. Dumbarton. They don't, they don't go down. Yeah, they're only two. No, I don't think it could be. Um, Cove Rangers. Oh. Knock is ticking. Montrose. Oh, yeah, you. Montrose. Stenra. Oh, I thought I was maybe on the cusp there. Oh, I didn't. Did, I nearly fall. Peter. <laughs> Peter Feet. Eight. Uh, he said one for us. Um, I'm just waiting for the clock. This bottom drunk could be off. Clock is ticking. I'm going to have to dash you. Oh, the brain went to the mall. I broke. I broke. Do it time. I said I broke. He did, but we were out of time. He fucking clicked it as I said it. We're pretty time. That's a joke. Oh, yes! Build up is special. We lose every week. There we go. Our bros are smaller, but you went out of time. Uh, alternative answers. Well, there's Clyde, um, East Fife. Clyde played Hamilton, which is good as well. Yeah, Hamilton, 6,018. Uh, Inverness is smaller than Palmerston, 7,512. Uh, he could still be shouting Ross County at the screen because Ross County are a correct answer with 6,541. St Mirren is also apparently smaller than Palmerston with 7,937. So that is a 2-1 win to Kyle again. Robert is not looking because he's still annoyed that I've called him he out can, of time. He can, he can compare the rest. And in that case, there's been some Premier League sackings in England, Kyle. What do you think of them? I, I don't know them all, but yeah, they've been... <laughs> Say that again. Someone's having a straw. Oh, well, just... Just ignore him. Come up, my replacement's here. <laughs> Hi, Kyle. <laughs> Hi. How you doing? Hello. What do you think of the Premier League seconds? You know, Chelsea got rid of Graham Potter. What's your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> Coming back. What's your thoughts on Graham Potter? His stats were shit. Um, 
he, I saw a stat something like he lost one one last game than Mourinho, but he had about twelve home games and Mourinho had about hundred and something. Yeah. It was it was never great, but still in the Champions League though. I don't think the sacking gives off the world's best impression of the Chelsea project. Right. Well, I think Moyes is next after getting beat four one uh, five one sorry yesterday. Yeah, that is true. Newcastle. Klopp. Klopp as well. Nah, Klopp will stay. If he yeah. doesn't the start next season, he'll go. Mm. You've also got Steve Cooper, who's uh, apparently on the brink. Ah, but they've said they've said that he was. Sticking by him. That's good because I think I think every Nottingham Forest fan that I've seen on Twitter has wanted them to stick by him. They're still uh, safe. They're not done yet. Yeah, I'd say maybe they get relegated. Yeah, but the thing I mean, is, newly coming up and he's doing quite well. So with it? the amount of players they've signed. Yeah, exactly. But they, they could quite easily do what Burnley or Norwich have done in the past, which is go down, keep the manager, and come straight back up again. Yeah. True. Um. Who, who else went at the weekend? Brendy left. They did, yeah. I'm surprised it's lasted as long, to be honest. Yeah, he's kind of been going for a while. There was rumours that the club probably couldn't afford to sack him, given Leicester's kind of financial issues. Yeah, is that just because the big owner was obviously no longer? Yeah, owner? and apparently some um, isn't as interested in football as the dad was. Um, so it's a bit shit for Leicester. Um, I think they've said they're not going to do it, but Graham Potter was linked to them very strongly. I think Graham Potter said no. Um, here's here's an interesting one for you is to uh, dissect. Um, Frank Lampard is going back to Chelsea as the caretaker manager. So, I think so he got sacked and they appointed Tuchel. Yes. And then Tuchel won the Champions League, and uh, in that in the, after that, uh, Lampard went to Everton, nearly got relegated twice, got the sack. Then Tuchel's then got the sack, and Graham Potter's came in, and then he's got the sack, and now Lampard's going back to be caretaker. Riddle with that one. Yeah, caretaker to the end of the season, Riddle probably pointing Mourinho, knowing Chelsea. Yeah, he got a job for him, though. The thing is, like, and I said this from the start, if you're Graham Potter, you were stupid to go to Chelsea in the first place. He's, he's but, tars his own legacy. Yeah, you, you saw how they treated Tuchel... You saw how they treat managers in general. The ma- the owner basically knows nothing about football. He's like the typical American owner who's heard, oh, I hear this player's quite good. Let's buy them. They certainly bought a lot of players. They'll look at us. They're linked with someone else. Yeah, they're linked like, like with everyone because the owner has more money than sense. Yeah. Um, I see manager-wise they're linked with Luis Enrique, which I should have put money on because he was at like 8-1 to one when I mentioned that in our football chat. Um, the thing is though, they don't give the managers any time. Look at Arteta. Yeah, he was Arteta doing, was he giving was doing, time. He was doing right and rotten in his first season, and now look at him, he's on the verge of winning the Premier League. Yeah, I, I reckon if they gave Potter time, Potter might have got results out of that. Yeah, give, him the, give, it, give it to Potter at the end of the season. Give it Giggs at the end of the season. I think, give, it Lampard, give it Lampard at the end of the season. <laughs> I think actually though, um, you heard some of the things come out of Chelsea. Like some of the players had to Google who Graham Potter was. And there's partly jokes that they used Apparently to compare to Harry Potter. Apparently they kept calling him Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, that's cruel. Who do we think is going to go next? I don't think anyone will go next. I think this will be at the end of the season. No, I think Moises is going after another scud him like that. Mm-hmm. Probably Moises is the next glaring. I think... I think... I think they'll be fine, though. I don't think they'll go down. I think Klopp will be safe, but I think Moises I... is on the... He's, like, teetering on the edge. Yeah. I don't think they'll go down. Like, ultimately, I know they got scared by Newcastle, but Newcastle are third in the league. And it's like, who goes down is going to be about that. Who goes down is going to be about um, beating the teams around you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's usually how it goes. Which is, you know, I, I, it would have been quite nice to watch games between teams around people, like Nottingham Forest v whoever it was the other night. Leeds. Really yeah. Cool there we go. Now I'm going to It would have been nice to watch that. Instead, I had to sit through Liverpool nil, Chelsea nil, which might have been one of the worst football experiences I've ever seen. Chelsea have two goals chopped off. Yeah, they did have two goals chopped off. One yeah. for offside. I was busy and I came back and I saw in the chat. But to be honest, you can never trust anything that goes in the chat. It's like, uh, source, trust me, bro. One for offside and one for handball. Um, Kai Havertz, apart from the, when he did the score, when it was ruled out for handball. I mean, that thing he did after he won the Champions League, that pure me- mental faces he was pulling. So I read a thing, or I heard a thing, to say that Kai Havertz's nickname is like the donkey because he connects with donkeys and he likes to think he's calm under pressure. I mean, I watched that game the other night 
I've never seen anyone less calm in front of gold than Kai Havertz. No, it's, he, he did say it wasn't because of that. He says it's because he's got a donkey. I, I, I heard that he also was like, oh, I think I connect with donkeys because I'm really quite calm. But not in front of goal, you're not. A striker leave my alone. He was, he was yeah, terrible. Yeah, calm. I, I think it's something that the team up, though. Like, they're not scoring because they have no confidence. Yeah. Get Lukaku back in, he's scoring goals. Well, Lukaku's meant to come back anyway. Yeah. Lukaku will be back at the end of the season. That might solve the problem because Inter probably aren't going to keep him because they can't afford him. It's not very good, though, is it? Whatever it's getting late. Yeah. Hmm. Chinese owners. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, Inter are a bit skint. Um, that's why Conte left. That's how he ended up at Tottenham. Uh, Conte yeah. won the league with them. They went, we're not giving you any money. You're going to have to sell players. Conte went, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you have that kind of. <laughs> no, I was listening. No, it's fine. There was some back, there's some background noise. Background noise. I don't think the, the camera picked up. Um, yeah, we're kind of rushing, a well, lot rushing, flying through this, but it's kind of quiet week. Um, yeah, was that? Um, Prem, Premier League Hall of Fame discussion. That's what we're gonna have next. Um, the Premier League have put out a nominee list. Yes. So. The two managers that were in, are being inducted are Sir Alex Ferguson and Arsene Wenger. But there is a list of players, nominees, who you can vote for three, I believe. Yes, yes you can vote for three. Uh, you have until Monday at six o'clock or something like that to vote. So we'd encourage you to vote. We're going to have a discussion from the 15 nominees as to who you should yeah. vote for. I say who you should vote for. I've already voted. I've not, but we'll do one as a podcast as well. Yes. Right, I'll read them out. So starting off, uh, relation of mine, Tony Adams. Uh, no, joking. Uh, Saul Campbell, Michael Carrick, Peter Cech, Andrew Cole, Ashley Cole, uh, Jermaine Defoe, Les Ferdinand, Rio Ferdinand, Robbie Fowler, uh, Gary Neville, Michael Owen, John Terry, Yaya Toure, and Nemanja Vidic. Um, big names in there. Um, Greg, who well, you've picked your three. You I know, have to know what he scores you picked. Uh, I- Honestly, I think I can remember two of them. I don't know if I can remember the third one. I definitely voted for Les Ferdinand because Newcastle, partisan. I don't really know. I don't really know much about him. No. Like for Newcastle, that's the main reason. I He's probably him. the one that the one that I've heard the least about. Yeah, they are. They are I definitely voted for Michael Carrick because I think he deserves it. Um, yeah, the amount of games he played. Amount of games he played, kind of a rock in that midfield. Um, the other one, I think I ended up voting for Vidic as the third one because I think he was like I think he is. Possibly the best centre half the Premier League has had. Um, some of the others, like why is Tony Adams there? Why the hell is Gary Neville there? Why is Ashley Cole there? And no offence to Jermaine Defoe. Jermaine Defoe sticks out like a sore thumb in that that list. I know he scored a lot of goals. I know he's one of the few players nah, who scored nah, five. Nah, he was a prolific goal scorer. That's just because he's it's Sunderland. It's not just Sunderland. It's because what. Ger- Nemanja Vidic definitely deserves to be in the Hall of Fame more than Jermaine Defoe. Talk about Les Ferdinand, but no Jermaine Defoe. I wonder why that is. Partisan. You'll be voting for Robbie Fowler. No, I would say probably Peter Cech and John Terry at least, because they're I two of the... John Terry as well. Love that. Well, in regards to football, they're probably two of the best in the recent years. Yeah, that's true. Peter Cech's played ice hockey these days. Yeah, so a goalkeeper, funnily enough. Yes. Did you wear his different overhead? They have to. Well, yeah, under his helmet. Yeah, yeah, I I think there's some good choices there. There's also um, So Campbell, who was part of one of the great Arsenal teams. Um, You know, you've got Vidic, you've got his set half. Saying that, Ferdinand. Touri. Again, so if it's a Hall of Fame, like Touri was good, but is he good enough to be there now? Like, do we want to start? Do we want some of the older players first, and then two day can come? Because he would deserve to be in there, but maybe not <laughs> over some of them. Yeah, but you can't really say now nah, you're you're not getting in because other people were on the same list as you. But other they people, just, other could, people were before you. Yeah, but they could still get inducted. It's not like a elimination chamber. Yeah, that's true. Well, maybe it wasn't the best analogy, but <laughs> WWE fans, I uh, hope you enjoyed WrestleMania at the weekend. For your for the WWE fans listening to the podcast. Grow up. No. You do you. I see that... Um, I like watching scripted dramas too. I see that the, the company that own UFC have bought the movie. It's massive in America though. It's a gold mine. 
Yeah, because Americans will believe fucking anything. You're just eliminating every single chance of people actually watching this podcast. Oh no, they'll watch it until I say that and then they'll turn off. That's still a view for us. I think they turned off and you said less better than Yeah. Yeah, I would have. Then not the full. Mm-hmm. We should probably put a disclaimer out next week that all the views are of our own and not Greg's. <laughs> right, I mean, who are we picking then as a podcast? I, I agree with Parachak. Right, Parachak, I agree. Right, we'll go Parachak. Uh, I think um, John Terry. I don't think you agree with that, but Kyle does. Two against one. Just grow up. Right, two, there we go. Two. And third one, do we want an attacker? Because my argument for John Terry was going to be, I think it should be Vidich over Terry. But I can, I can see why you'd pick Terry, because they're both like mainstays in the Premier League. They're probably, if you're picking a Premier League like centre half pair for like Premier League like team of all time, you're probably picking Terry and Vidic, right? Or Van Dijk. No chance. <laughs> that's, that's one against two. Um, what about, uh, right, yeah, let's go for an attacker. You look at Campbell, I know maybe, but like he was part of Invincibles. I'm, I'm just making a point for all of them. It's not a stacker though. Yeah, that, that, that was the look I guess. <laughs> uh, so your options kind of for up front are like, what, Cole yeah, Fowler, I, I don't know Cole Fowler that, Owen or Defoe? Oh, I thought, I thought Campbell was a midfielder. Was he defender? Campbell's defender, yeah. Center off. I wasn't born, so, well I was born, but I never, I wasn't even watching it at that age. I think, I think Defoe. Like Owen and his bionic hamstring. Uh, Defoe. You know what? Actually, I think Dufo is in with a shout. Yeah, I don't have those options. Like Fowler's the only one that maybe challenges him, and the, the Liverpool fan or the person with the Liverpool top is not strongly advocating for Robbie Fowler. Never, never seen him play. That's an issue. We've never really seen these guys play. Some of them. He fell off before I was born, I think. So is that what we're picking? Are we picking Czech, Terry, and the Dufo? Yeah. yeah. Dufo. I'm done. <laughs> I'm glad I voted myself anyway. <laughs> I'll vote myself anyway. I'm going to put um, Defoe, Defoe. Jermaine Defoe, Jermaine Defoe, and Jermaine Defoe. 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 <laughs> to be fair, of all of them, Gary Neville can just know. I enjoy the photo of him, his hair's all metal. And... Yeah. Yeah, where's Roy Keane? Is Roy Keane in it already? He better be in it already. He's already, it. He's already in it. Is he? Sure he is. Yeah. Right. Predictions? Predictions. So I and my almighty wisdom have not wrote any nice wee statements after the predictions this week. So that's gone well. Um, <laughs> it is my pick of games this week, and I've evidently picked the games and forgot to write stuff for it. Right, let's go. Uh, we'll go with the flow. So we'll start uh, usual format, uh, going over last week's results. If we really have to, I managed to get one point, yes. <laughs> which was Aberdeen beat St Johnston, and Kyle and Robert both got four points. That takes the total scores to myself on 82, Robert on 85, and Kyle on 88. I'm coming for you. You hear that? His ball's crashing. No, I'm just not listening. Grow up. So, uh, first game this week, Scottish Premiership, as we discussed, Celtic versus Rangers. Are you going for Rangers? Yes. I'm going for Celtic. I'm going for the, the hoops. I want the points. I'm um, getting them. Our game in the Premiership uh, is Motherwell versus Livingston. Really? Motherwell kind of down there at the bottom, Livingston fighting for top six. Uh, I'm going to go a draw. You're going a draw. Motherwell have been playing all right. I'm getting mine up, just bear with. I'm going for the well mother. You're going for the mother well. Um, I am also going for the mother well. Uh, next game in, in the championship, uh, which is Air United versus Morton. Right, we're just getting the lead table up. We are yeah. getting the lead table up because I forgot to write stuff this week. Um, Air in third with three wins in the last five games. Morton haven't won at all in their last five games. Kyle's camera's disappeared, which has worried me. Yeah. Sorry, I'm still here. You're still here. That's the that's gonna be up on the recording. That's the whole thing, knackered. I apologize. Uh, yeah, yes, Morton haven't won in five games. As much as it hates me to say it, I'm going with an Air United one. Your name's Cardiff, by the way. Yes, I know. <laughs> uh... <laughs> it felt wrong to call it Greg when you were also here. Oh, uh-huh. I just noticed that our name's Cardiff. 
You could be like Robert Ingram as opposed to Aaron Carter. Yeah, but there are other people as well. I do fear we have a guest appearance, so uh, from Cardiff. <laughs> uh, right. So with air. You went air. I'm going air now. Three no, air. actually. Yeah, I'm going air. Three air United wins. That's a sorry sight. Other game is right at the bottom and an absolutely massive game. It is Hamilton versus Cove Rangers. Cove uh, had lost one in 12 when Paul Hartley got sacked. They're now bottom and have lost all of their last five and are both in Hamilton have overtaken them. That is a Dick Campbell masterclass right there for you. I am going for a Hamilton win because Cove are shit. I'm also going for a Ton win. No, that's not the Hamilton. Ackies. Ackies, so another home win. I will say, I've just seen the numbers. And uh, Hamilton, who are in ninth and have been shit most of the season, have conceded 55 goals in 30 games. Sodge. In 31 goal, 31 games, Cove have conceded 70 goals. Next game is the uh, first game is a massive game for Queens. It is Alloa versus Queens. Uh, Alloa sitting in that fourth spot at the minute. Queens are six points behind them, and Queens are unbeaten in five. <laughs> Uh, I'm going Queen's uh, big result. Or I'm beating them five. Marvin's got his playing again, so let's go. I, I'm also thinking we'll keep that unbeaten run, but I'm going for a draw because we've got a really poor record away at Alloa. I'm going for the tin of beans. Great. Other game is, I would say, at the top of League One and you know quite important, but it's not really because Dunfermline have kind of popped off. Uh, it is Falkirk versus Dunfermline. Falkirk lost two of the last five, and it's the kind of reason that Dunfermline have properly popped off. Uh, Dunfermline only lost once a season, I believe it was against Montrose, because I've said that about a billion times. Controversial, but I'm going draw. You're going for a draw. I'm going for a Dunfermline win. I'm going for the Pars. The Pars. Dunfermline. Yeah. League two now, and it is a game kind of towards the bottom again, actually, with uh, bottom two, um, Albion versus Elgin. Elgin, who I think were third in January, if I remember correctly, I checked that the other week, uh, are now second bottom and have lost all of their last five games, uh, and they could finish the day bottom if Albion, uh, uh, yeah, if Albion beat them. Uh, Albion have won one in their last five, Elgin have lost all of their last five. I'm going, hear me out, a draw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for the Albion Rovers, the team with two last names. I was going to go for them, but I don't Names know. two. For an Albion one as well, Kyle. Okay. Let's give yes. it a And the other game in League Two is Annan versus Dumbarton. So that is second versus third, but Annan don't really have a that big a chance of catching up. Annan are kind of unbeaten in two, one three in the last five. Dunbarn are winless in four games and have conceded a ton of ground and are now, after still in chasing them for weeks, are now eight points behind Sterling. The bottle really has cracked there. Draw. You're going for a draw. I'm going Dunbarn. You are going for Dunbarton. I am going for Annan Athletic. You're going to Barton, aren't you? Yeah. Yep, and then, so this week, my picks for the wild cards. First one is in the Highland League. It's Brewer Rangers versus Four Martin United. It is third versus fourth. Looks like it'll be between Bucky and Breakin for going up, because Breakin have kind of balled that as well. Uh, third versus fourth. Don't really have any form information. Other than Brewer have scored 109 goals in 30 games. <laughs> Which was... And they're fourth. Yeah, and they're fourth. Which is because they've also conceded, they might have scored three goals a game, but they've also conceded a goal a game. I'm going uh, Brora. You're going Brora. I'm also going Brora. Yes, I'll do the same. You'll do the same. I think. to copy us, The other game is a big game in the Lowland League, especially after Celtic B were held to a point against the mighty Dolbiti Star last I night. I was going to say that big result for Dolbiti Star. I say last night, we're recording this on Thursday, so it was a Wednesday night. Um, so this is a big game. It is first versus fifth. Spartans currently have two points lead on Celtic B at the top of the Lowland League, but also have a game in hand on them. 
Uh, Spartans are unbeaten in their last five games. I am going for a win for the away side, the Spartans. Me also. Go for a draw. Be spicy. You're going for a nice wee draw. That is the end of the predictions for this week. Thank you very much, Greg. And um, that brings us to an end for this week. Um, nice and short. Yeah, Point. they have a quicker one, but to be honest, it shouldn't always drag on. No. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. It's been good being here. It's weird being next year. I know. And uh... oh yes! <laughs> That was when the train conductor was coming down. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's this one? Can I click this one? Yeah. <laughs> I like the button. This one's my favourite one. Clock is ticking. I'm going to have to dash you. Yes. That brings us to the end. Thank you very much for listening. This is an episode twenty-two of Three Fights and a Queen. See you later. Bye. Oh. Godspeed, whatever. <laughs>